Okay, we're here in a part file and we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be using the Revolve tool. So the first thing we need is to start a 2D sketch. Um, and the first thing we're going to make with the Revolve tool is a uh, sphere because that tends to be kind of where people do their first need for Revolve. So if we're going to make a sphere here, whoops, I got out of my sketch. So I make a circle and I'm going to go ahead and dimension it. Okay, so let's say we need a, you know, let's say we need a four inch circle. Okay, uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line right down the middle. Okay, so what I really need in order to revolve is I need a closed 2D area and I need a, um, an axis to revolve around. Okay, so we have our circle with a line going down the middle and we're going to go ahead and do finish sketch. Okay, now I'm going to click the revolve tool and notice that um, because, because the circle um, is bisected by the line, I have two, two closed areas. Okay, so first I'm going to select the profile, in this case half a circle. And next I'm going to select the axis, in this case the center line of the circle. Okay, so now I get my preview. And you'll see that I have a sphere here, right? Um, now there's a couple things that I can uh, that can I can adjust. For example, 360 degrees is the um, is the default, but let's say I wanted only wanted to go 270, uh, I could revolve it 270. So you notice that basically it's the profile spinning around the axis. Okay, so that's that's how we would do a uh, a sphere. Let's go ahead and make another part. And this time we're going to revolve once again. Uh, but in this case, we're going to make a separate, uh, we're going to do the axis outside of the shape. Okay, so in this, so let's go ahead and make a little bit more of a complicated shape. Just, uh, just so we can see what's going on here. Um, for, for time's sake, I'm not going to do, uh, I'm not going to um, uh, dimension anything. And this time I'm going to place a line outside of the shape. Okay, so we have a shape and we have a line outside of the shape. So notice in this case, the axis is going to be outside of the shape, creating some space in between. So let's go ahead and finish sketch. And now I'm going to go ahead and click Revolve. Notice that my profile is selected here because it was the only uh, two-dimensional shape. Then I'm going to go ahead and click an axis. And you'll see now that we have our Revolve. Uh, so that we can see it, let's go ahead and change the... Um, Oh, sorry, I'll click OK. Okay. If I want to go back in and, and change some properties in it, uh, I can go ahead and double click the revolution over here. One, one uh, thing that people make a mistake on is they'll click it and then wait and click again. Uh, instead of doing that, just double click it one time and you'll get the um, dialog back open. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, change this to uh, glossy gold or just plain gold. Actually, let's do the glossy gold. It looks a little bit nicer. Okay, and there we have it. So we have a, that's revolve. Um, you can also go back in and um, and change the uh, shape of the revolve. Um, you can do this up to a point. Inventor will handle it. Um, but uh, but at some point it won't. So that's kind of a you know. Um, case by case basis. So let's say we change a little bit and then we'll handle it uh, up to a point. So, okay. Uh, best of luck on 3D Revolve.